small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. The northern long-eared bat gets a reasonable response. Bats, I love them. They're cool looking. They fly in the summer, eat mosquitoes. They don't bother me. If the flying mammal found its way into their homes and decided to call dibs on the crawl space, would opinions change? That would kind of uh, freak me out a little bit. I don't know about that one. I tend to want to get them out of there. If there's a bat in my crawl space, should I be excited about this? I, I would. Kevin Jennings, a wildlife biologist with the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, hopes you'll leave the creepy critters calling your place home B. White nose syndrome, a fungal disease, has decimated the bat population, but on Long Island, they seem less susceptible. We think that the bats going into people's crawl spaces might be part of the reason as to why they're doing much better here on Long Island than they are in the rest of the state. Jennings tells us this type of bat typically hibernates in caves and abandoned mines. Don't have those on Long Island. Scientists want to figure out what it is about this space that might help bats survive. So if you have a crawl space, may your ears perk up like this, guys. The New York State DEC needs your help, wants you to volunteer your crawl space for inspection. We are going to go in and, and hopefully look for and find a bat just hanging on uh, the wooden beams. Just like this. The DEC will capture photos and measure temperature and humidity using these tiny sensors. Even if you don't know if you have bats in that crawl space, we're still interested in taking a look. Because something in this dark, dingy space seems to be protecting bats from white nose syndrome. And they want to know what it is for the good of all. In Stony Brook, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation wants to focus its efforts on Suffolk County, specifically the East End. If you would like to volunteer, just head to cbsnewyork.com.